Today, I'm going to talk about how to price employee stock options with binomial tree based on whole white model. This is based on two papers. First paper is called How to Evaluate Employee Stock Options by John Hall and Alan White. The second paper is called Accounting for Employee Stock Options Accelerating Convergence. Basically, the second paper is based on the first paper with some enhancement. If you go to the internet, you can download those two papers. This is the first paper, and this is the second paper. Let's take a look at the terminologies used in the model. The vesting period is the length of time that the employee must wait in order to be able to exercise his or her employee stock options. That means during vesting period, the employee cannot exercise the stock options. The exit rate is a percentage that employees leave the company annually. If the exit rate is 4%, that means 4% of the employee will leave the company every year. The stock strike ratio or multiple is the ratio of stock price when early exercise occurs versus strike price. This means only when the stock price is rise above the multiple, the employee will exercise the option. Otherwise, it doesn't worth to exercise earlier. The tree depth is the number of steps between starting time to maturity in the binomial tree. Now let's consider the value of the nodes within this region. There are two scenarios. One scenario is the node is not being exercised. In that case, this node is depends on the value of the next two nodes in the next step. And the formula is here. That means the probability of each node times the value of each node sum up will give the value of this node discounted to this time. Another scenario, it, it's already being exercised. In that case, it will be the value of the stock price minus strike price if in the money, otherwise it's zero. In the second paper, there are several enhancements to the methodology. First of all, if the stock price is above this barrier, and then this region is called redundant early exercise region, and all the nodes will supposed to be exercised at this point. Another region is called the zero region within this triangle. That means if any nodes within this region, the value will assign to be zero because it will not have any attribution to the final price. And another point is when we decide how many steps we need to evaluate this stock option. In this paper in 1994, Boyle and Law approved if we have this barrier across or close to the grid nodes, it will increase the accuracy of the calculation. Now let's go to my spreadsheet where I implemented this model. First of all, we have to decide all the parameters we need in this model. 
stock price we put 100 strike price 100 maturity we say is within 10 years and vesting period is two year interest rate is six percent volatility is 20 percent and dividend rate we assume it's zero and exit rate is four percent and the multiple is 1.5 that means only if the stock price is 1.5 times of the strike price the employee will early exercise the stock option and then the tree depth we initially gave it six and let's calculate the result we can see here the final tree depth is 9 instead of 6. As I mentioned before, when the barrier goes through the grid nodes or is close to the grid nodes, will increase the accuracy of the calculation. Let's clear the results and recalculate. We can see the final tree steps is 9 instead of 6. If we go below, as I mentioned, the model calculates the value of the nodes at the maturity first. You can see in this example, at the maturity, only node 5 have this value, and other nodes it's either got early exercise already or it's out of the money. And then we go back one step. And this time, the node 4 and 5 has value. And if we go down, we can see more and more nodes had value eventually we got the option price 26.9 which is the result of our calculation as I explained before this model calculated the value of the nodes at the maturity first and then go back one step and calculate all the value of the nodes in the previous step and further and further until it got the final option price. Now let's change the parameter and see what happens. If we input stock price 120 instead of 100, we recalculate the price. We can see here only node 4 has value 20. That's because the stock price is above strike price by 20. And then if we go further you can see it calculates the value of the previous steps nodes. And the final result is 40. Of course, it's larger than the previous example because the stock price is higher than before. This is how to price employee stock options with a binomial trade based on whole white model. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.